absolutely in love with my yearbook. I'm just looking at it sitting beside me here. Um, biggest reason why is because actually reconnected me to my creativity. Um, and I feel like I haven't been connected to that side of me since I was a child in terms of like drawing and creating and, um, you know, doing things that I really enjoyed when I was a child. Like, for example, like uh, using pastels. I haven't used pastels since I was like in grade eight art class. And I love that I used pastel on my yearbook cover. You can see that. Um, what I did was I started with just, I, I love taking the paper off the pastel and just using the side of it. And I remember doing that as a kid. So I started with the ground and then the grass and then the blue sky. And then I added the words first. So I'm a word person more so. And it said, spring forth, my love, we're all waiting for you to come out and play. I hear your whispers. I said, I'm on my way. And so that really just um, like the invitation that Jamie put out and her studio invitation um, and just this space, like this clear space invited me um, and we were coming out of winter. So that was awesome. And then what happened was I started adding um, the drawings and once I added the drawings after came um, like little messages from like from the tree it says stand tall whispered the tree uh, from the bird it says sing whispered the birds so it was just so much fun and I'm gonna treasure this forever yeah I love it <laughs> I I would love to share um, I was part of the first 100 so Jamie sent me an envelope full of I don't know how to say the word ephemera and um, what I love about it is that Shannon made the envelope, uh, Jamie wrote this card, and then her sister Susie uh, chose the tape. So I have all three of um, their energy here right from the beginning. And then in the ephemera was, uh, I don't know if you can see these three dolls here. Yeah, so that represents all three sisters and all the love that they set this with. So that was so much fun. And then the other things that I love, absolutely love that Jamie put the studio invitation there. That's one of my favorite things. That's the first thing actually that connected me to her when I found her last year. I was just so welcomed. Um, and the other stuff that I really love is um, the collaging. So this was my spring board and and I noticed in the past when I've done any collaging, which is seldom, I usually just do words. I don't draw and I don't really um, pick out pictures. It's just pick out words. And now what's happening is I'll show you um, my dream boards, which I love too. I'm starting to uh, grab pictures too. So that's fun. That was from... That was uh, the full blue moon, and I just recently finished the pink moon, and that was so much fun too. I just want to show you that. Um, so it's connecting me and giving me more of an experience of what dream boarding is, and oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Oh, I loved this page, the you page. Um, and at first, I didn't want to share it with anyone. It was very personal. And what I love is that Jamie has created a Facebook uh, group for us to share and other people were sharing and then I got inspired to share as well. Um, and it's okay, like you share if you want to share and if you don't feel like sharing, you don't have to feel like sharing, but I just feel really, I felt really inspired to do so. Um, the other, so what's happening with the spring yearbook is that as I go along, uh, things are coming up and I'm trying new things and I'm um, experiencing like wow moments like oh this was cool so Jamie sent again ephemera so she sent um, like this, pa this page here and I cut it up and I made a border and I didn't have enough so I drew rest of it on top here that was super fun again here's some more so I started with that I actually had seen one of the other um, participants in the Facebook group do it so I was inspired by her um, cutting out and creating a border like that. Oh, okay. So 
um, again, inspiration from the ladies in the group and Jamie as well. Um, Kate had shared, uh, it was Poetry Month, National Poetry Month in April. And then I think it was Anissa who had drew, drew, drawn um, pictures in her month uh, calendar page. So I did uh, a month of haikus and um, yeah, that was super fun. <laughs> uh, so it got me connected back to, again, something from childhood. I loved writing haikus as a child. Um, so that's one of my favorites. And the other thing that happens is, like I said, uh, things are getting created. So I created this character this one day and I absolutely love it. And um, this character has been showing up and it represents to me um, love and light. So it's the sun and the heart. And that's fun. And what else do I want to show you? Oh, um, so I'd gone on a trip um, and I took my um, spring year book with me. And some days I got into it, some days I didn't. And then uh, how Jamie shares that she sometimes looks back at empty space and she just adds to it, right? So if you miss a day, it's no pressure, no stress. And so I did that. Uh, and I also put um, something from that trip. So I had this delicious lavender latte. So I put the coffee cup um, holder, I think it's called, um, on one page. And then the next page, I went to go color the creation part. And this happened. The pattern um, was showing through when I started coloring the creation side. So that was fun. <laughs> that reminded me of how I used to love doing uh, that as well when I was a child. Everybody's talking about this washi tape and I didn't know what that was. And um, I actually ended up getting some tape from the dollar store. It wasn't called washi, but I understood that that's what people have been showing in their pictures. So that was my first uh, washi tape. It's sparkly. And oh, this little girl artist, this was fun. I went on an artist date and picked up um, some pamphlets from my local art gallery. And oh, I just love this. And she's wearing rainbow sneakers. <laughs> so it's cool. It's cool choosing images um, to put in because they tell a story. And um, Real, really loved um, taking one of Jamie's um, dream board classes and she shared the video of um, what was it called like uh, doing the dream more dream board the studio way so Jamie uh, does a meditation and just be just to be taken away into that and then coming out of that and then choosing your images um, really connected to the message behind them um, and that they spark something inside you. That's what I, she said. Like they spark something in you or you're like, oh, there's something there. And so that's what I did with this dream board, which is really fun um, for the month, the full pink moon um, was, yeah. And I'm looking forward to the next ones. And I, and I have a lot of images that didn't fit on this page. So I feel like um, creating another page. Sometimes, I think most of the time, we create things uh, or uh, treat them as very precious. And I know Jamie talks a lot about that and just visually seeing people share um, how they're just creating anything and everything. Like if it's, if it says to document your day, people are just like, you know, dream boarding over them and that's a okay or painting here and painting there. And um, I love that part. And it's teaching me to let go of that precious feeling um, and to actually put it to use and have it to be like a living thing. Um, that's the fun part. So I just love these little moments that are happening. Um, I'll show you one more um, with that washi tape from the dollar store. Uh, here it is. So I made this star and what I love about it was when I made it, it's like, it's, it's a sparkly one and it just brings me so much joy. Like when it's sparkling like that. So. Yeah, I love this yearbook. <laughs> it's in the April page. I don't think I showed this yet, but it's just, it's really connecting me to how I want to create like my month too. Uh, Jimmy has his monthly pages as well that we can um, draw or collage on. And I feel inspired and I feel like I can, like my energy is focused 
um, when these images come out intuitively. And I feel like I'm connecting more and more and more to my intuition uh, by doing it. And then um, in the full moon, so we've done two so far in this book. Um, for the last one that just happened, Jamie included questions. And I looked back at the previous full moon and what I had written and uh, the page that I had created. And some of those things are starting to happen. So I was like, what? <laughs> right, this stuff works. <laughs> I can't believe this one book fits that much joy in it. <laughs> you know, like when, when I first opened it, it was all blank and it was just, that part is a little scary when it's all blank. It's like, oh my gosh, like what's gonna happen in here? Or what am I gonna add? But just once you just start, just start doing something and one thing leads to another thing. And now um, looking at it, it's like almost half full. It, it's such a cool experience. It's like, you know, things are documented. You can flip to a page like, oh, I did that. Um, I recently had a sleepover with my niece. So she and I uh, just started drawing these characters from the stickers. And it was her idea. Uh, and I love stickers, by the way. There's like happy face stickers and like here's a banana sticker. So anyways, we had these character stickers and she said, let's draw these stickers. And so now I get to remember that that's the day she came for a sleepover all by herself without her little brother. Um, normally they come together. So just the memories that it holds for you. And I'll share one more thing is that so this... I'm starting to share and I shared it with her. And she said to me, she goes, um, why do you have so many uh, pencil crayons and felts? And then I ended up buying um, glitter paint. She's used glitter glue before at my house. And then we bought glitter, glitter paint because she loves glitter. Um, and she goes, why do you have all this stuff? And I was just thinking like, yeah, why do I have all this stuff? First of all, I love kids. I used to work at a daycare um, and when they come over to my house, we do a lot of arts and crafts and science experiments. And so I have it for them, right? But at the same time, um, with this yearbook, I'm connecting to my own creativity and I'm actually like picking up things for myself and I'm getting less precious about it and opening my supplies to my niece and my nephew to use with me. And, and I said to her, I like to make art. I like to create things. I got to share that with her because I don't think she experiences with anybody else that way. Um, and for her, it's like, okay, all adults, she's like five and she's like, all adults are supposed to go away to work and like come back, you know, leave in the morning, come back at night and you don't do that, but you're here. So what are you up to? She's like trying to figure out, right? This yearbook allowed me to show her, look, I create art, <laughs> you know, like I, I'm starting to create art. I'm starting to connect to that side of myself and I have so many creative ideas that this yearbook is helping me um, put them in one spot mm. and, and, and actually experience things like the haikus that I did and the drawings that I'm, you know, slowly doing. And, and I didn't love my yearbook page. Like my, uh, when I first drew it, I didn't love it. I actually like, I don't want to, I don't even want it there. I wanted to rip it out. And then I said, no. And it's, teaching me to accept and not be so hard on myself too. So that's important. And then now I'm going to get a little emotional. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it, this yearbook um, for me also is like a manifestation of my words for the year. Uh, one is create, one is self-love, and one is ease. <laughs> so this is helping me do that. I'm accepting my art. I'm accepting myself. I'm creating. I'm getting my personally created limits out of the way um, and just, yeah, connecting. And that's what I love about your book and Jamie because she's helping me do that. <laughs> you know, I feel like the yearbook allows us to connect to that side of the brain that is artistic um, and the side of the brain that is making us nervous about picking it up or 
opening a page or actually creating in it, that's just, you know, the analytical side and it's, you've gone into your brain, you're thinking too much about it. So, you know, if it, if you're thinking about it and uh, it sparks something in you, just get it and have your own experience with it. And I'm sure like every person so far that has created in this yearbook is going to say the same thing. It's awesome. Get the yearbook. <laughs> if, if it's come across um, your path and you're not going to be disappointed because there's, you can make it your own and um, there's just so much joy in it. Yeah, I'm just flipping through and looking here. And I'm, and I'm a very wordy person. Like, like a lot of my pages are like, a lot of them are just words, <laughs> right? So, but that doesn't have to be that, right? Like you can draw, you can paint, you can do anything you want in it. And it's just, um, if, been, if you've been wanting to connect to your creativity, pick up this yearbook. Just do it. Don't even think about it. And then have your experience of it. Yes.